Good morning, Aquarius. This is with a general reading for the sign of Aquarius. This reading could resonate with anyone who has Aquarius strongly in their chart. But please remember, we're all different ages. We're living all around the world, going through different experiences. And um, not every story will resonate with us. Not every aqua is living within the same life template. Um, my beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are right now, my beautiful friends. Um, it is a pleasure to have you here, and I look forward to the story that will be coming out for the sign of, of Aqua. So let's go ahead and connect now, Aquarius, to this story, to this group of Aquariuses that is coming forward. And Spirit, please help us understand what is going on currently with this group of Aquariuses. What is going on currently? What is going on currently, please? What is going on currently, please? And what is Aqua stepping into in the next immediate time frame? Now, we're looking at the next immediate wave of energy that you'll be stepping into, however fast you're moving. It would be arrogant of me to state a time frame around this. Um, but we are looking, and I have asked for the next immediate energy, which to me... Uh, means seven to ten days or two weeks or three weeks or even the next month. And sometimes as I get into the reading, I'll have a better idea of, of the kind of time frame that we're talking about. If we have a reading where there's a whole bunch of aces coming out and a lot of new starts, well, that tells me it's probably longer than a month even. It depends on what is happening. So let's go ahead and get into this reading and see what is here um, in the future for this group of Aquariuses. What is here in the future for this group of Aquariuses? What is here in the future? What is here in the future for this group of Aquarius people? In the next immediate time frame. In the next immediate time frame. What is here for this group of Aquarius? Is what is here, please? What is here for this? A lot of cars popping off here, so this is going to be an active period of time. Ready for some action, Aqua? Whatever that means for you, my friends. Whatever that means for you. All right, and let's look at guidance. Guidance, please, for Aquas. Please give us some guidance that will help Aquas in this journey. Please give us some guidance that will help Aquas in this journey, please. Give us some guidance. My mind is busy too as I'm going to. There's a lot of thinking going on here, Aquarius, and that is um, indicative of Aqua family. So let's go ahead and look at what is coming in or what is here for Aquarius. Let's look at what is here for Aquarius. And I'm even distracted. So there could be just thousands of thoughts going around in your mind. You could be having a very busy period of time within the mind right now. Um, what's happening currently in the consciousness of this group of people when I'm connecting in. Um, so let's go ahead and look. I'm going to straighten out the cards just a little bit. Ooh, we have a... Okay. We have a Nine of Cups energy that's on its way in. We have Six of Cups in the reverse. We have Justice energy in the reverse. Now, all of my cards are in the upright in the deck. Um, I prefer to have them come out in the upright um, because it's easier for me to read that energy. The stories usually come out the same. It's just easier. I can get into the energy easier. But if the cards come out strongly in the, ver in the reverse, if they land in the reverse, I will definitely read them in the reverse. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's here. Okay, let me get into this energy. Give me one moment here. Okay, so, so the cards that I have are the Nine of Cups, the Six of Cups in the reverse, the Justice energy in the reverse, Six of Swords in the upright, and Three of Cups in the lateral. Okay. 
Well, Aqua, I think um, for this group of Aquarius is you're working really hard. You're focusing um, truly on your own well-being now. Um, you, you are understanding you're having some clarity or you have found some clarity around um, what brings you the most fulfillment, um, what brings you the most inspiration in life, what brings you the most um, joy and happiness. And you're, you're taking action now as you move forward um, to bring in new equality for you in these experiences that you're having. We have the Six of Cups in reverse along with the Justice card in reverse. I feel like these energies are bunched together. There's something here that you are um, dealing with, that you are struggling with, that you are resolving with a soulmate, with a soul path. Could be a business path that you're on. Um, could be something with family. The Six of Cups energy is an energy of nostalgia. It's an energy of healing. It's an energy of family. It's an energy of warm and cozy energy. Um, but it is all the, also the energy that connects the souls. So you could be talking about a soulmate here. You could be talking about your soul connected to a certain soul path or a, or a life mission. Um, and then with the justice energy, this is about equality. This is about, this is about bringing justice and equality into your life walk, into your experience, um, that allows you to feel or that helps you to feel balance in your life, that helps you to feel that the work that you're putting out, the time that you're giving to this situation, whatever it is, if it's a love situation, if it's a job, if it's a business that you're working on, if it's a family situation or a situation even within the community in some way, that the work that you're doing, the effort that you're putting out, um, there's something that you're being given in, re in return so that this is working to create a fair exchange. So there's something here that has not been fair for you. Um, you could be working on creating boundaries for yourself. You could be working on understanding how to take care of yourself in a more, um, in a more preemptive way. So in a more offensive, uh, offensive way, instead of defensive, um, you could be starting to think ahead, think ahead um, is what I'm getting. Like, think ahead into the future. If I do this, if I step forward in this way, what will happen in the future? Can I foresee, can I begin to foresee some of the occurrences that could take place if I make a decision in this way or if I make a deci decision in that way? And this kind of rationality, this kind of logic, this kind of clear thinking is really helping you to bring some kind of a soul situation back into balance again. Um, we, my cards usually rotate clockwise. So um, as you're working through this, you're going to be able to see these cards here begin to rotate in this way and come up into the upright here. So I do think that you're in the process of resolving this. You're in the process of bringing this into a more fair position for you. And then we have the three of cups down here as an overall energy over the whole reading, which is talking about union and celebration and getting along with people, enjoying yourself with people. Um, this could be celebration within family. This could be celebration within an intimate couple or even a celebration at work. So there is some sort of victory that um, is, is starting to appear. Now, remember, this Three of Cups is in the lateral position. So um, whether this was a messy situation or this was a situation of just you um, uncovering or, de or, or st beginning to learn about this Nine of Cups, about your own self-care and your own well-being, and thus being able to create more um, more equality in your experience, whether, whether or not it was a third-party situation or some kind of messiness with people, because again, the Three of Cups is lateral, or whether it was something that was just unfair for you, I do see this beginning to resolve and a different energy start to move into this situation. So um, a better energy is coming in. Uh, you are beginning to step forward in a different way in this. And I think you're taking preemptive action to um, change this situation. So you are stepping forward now and making changes in the situation. Um, Six of Swords here. So this is talking about moving forward in a way that it brings more peace. It means that you have found clarity. Um, these swords are pushing you forward. So the clarity that you have found um, is putting wind beneath your sails and it's pushing you forward. See how these six swords here are almost in a way pushing him forward, pushing him out in a different way, giving him knowledge, giving him wisdom, giving him clarity so he can move forward in a much more um, resolute way. 
Um, he looks a little battle-worn here. He looks a little battle-worn, and it's pretty cold outside. Um, so he, he has been through some kind of a battle. Whether you can see that on the outside, um, you might not be able to see the scars here because I don't see any outward um, appearance of um, I don't see any outward appearance of pain or outward appearance appearance of stress, but um, this is someone who has experienced something that has been unfair. It went to the root of who he was. Um, this person, whether it's a woman or a man, this person has worked hard to bring about new equality. And whenever we do that in our lives, that takes a lot of courage to do that. It requires us to speak up. It requires us to find clarity about our own paths. It requires us to dig deep and, and really determine what is causing the unfairness. Why is it there? Because I do think this is about fairness. And I do think that you are being fair, Aqua. Um, I like that you're coming out of this current energy in the Six of Swords. I like that you're moving into the next period of time with more clarity. Um, your ideals are set. You are moving forward now with this new, with these new ideas, this, this new understanding, um, lifting you and moving you forward. It's giving you fuel. Just like a fire sign can get fuel from, um, from, in, uh, um, empowerment, the lighting the fire within. Aquas can receive fuel from finding clarity, from understanding, from, from, from building upon the knowledge that you have within you. And so I think this clarity and this understanding, um, is a beautiful fuel for you as you move into the next, the next period of time. So let's go ahead and see what's here for you as you move forward into the future. What is here for Aquarius moving forward? Nine of Wands energy. Six of Wands. I love that. The Moon in reverse. That's all right. Devil in reverse. I love it. Empress in the upright. Did I say that funny? Empress in the upright. Seven of Cups in the center of the reading. Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. All right, Aquarius, so as you move forward, you're, you're gaining a lot of strength and you're taking action here to protect yourself in some way. The Nine of Wands, if you look at this energy, the Nine of Wands is an energy of someone who has been through um, some kind of battle. This is somebody who has been probably through their, their lives in a series of battles. And throughout each of these battles, they have learned something valuable. Um, they have this, this group of aquas have something here that they are finding to be quite precious. They're finding to be quite valuable and they're willing to move forward and take action to, um, to defend themselves or to protect themselves. They are taking action in this way. Nine of Wands is standing up, standing tall, standing um, in front of what you believe in and taking action to express yourself, taking action to be successful, taking action to protect whatever it is that you're working for, that you believe in, that stirs your heart, that brings fire into your soul. So we can see here that this person is decided that in order to protect his flower crop or the crop that he has there, he's going to build a new kind of scarecrow and he's putting it up and he's taking action. He's building it. He's starting something new. Maybe he's doing a more realistic scarecrow or maybe he's moving it to a different part of the field or maybe he's adding in more. Maybe he had just a couple of scarecrows in his field and they weren't enough. And so he's adding more. So whatever he's doing, he's taking action now to protect what he finds to be valuable in his life. The Empress energy is over the top of the Nine of Wands and over the top of the Six of Wands. So that's telling me that he's stepping out. This person, whether it's a man or a woman, um, and most of my audience is women, um, but that doesn't matter. Um, I'm just reading the energies of the card. So the Nine of Wands card is a masculine energy for me. So it doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. You are taking action now in your exterior world. That is a masculine energy. But what we see happening is as you take action with the Nine of Wands and the Six of Wands in your external reality, you are finding 
finding a deeper balance, a more healthy balance internally. This is allowing your creative energies to flow. It's allowing you to create. It's allowing you to birth something new. So we have something new coming in here for you with the Empress. The Empress is a beautiful earth warrior. She is a warrior and she protects all living beings. She protects the earth. She protects humans. She protects the plants and living beings and animals and insects and birds. She is very much connected to Gaia. Um, she is a creative energy and she um, is a fighter, but she fights with love. She fights with nourishing. She fights the world and she fights situations and she warriors um, because of the balance and the, um, the love and the passion that she has within her. Um, she has passion for the world. She has passion for her world. Um, she has a fire lit underneath her and she's willing to move forward, but she has found clarity. She has found clarity and she can see the big picture and she's ready to move forward. Not only that, she has this true and deep love for herself. She understands what brings fulfillment. She understands what brings in happiness and joy into her life. And she finds that to be the most valuable sense for her. Um, in, in addition, she is taking action now to implement new changes into her life, new steps. So she has these four elements in a very balanced way, building within her. That creates the most powerful feminine energy, the internal energy of balance and power. Um, it is a, it is a, it is a, counterpart to the emperor energy and we do understand how strong the emperor energy is so um, what we see here is a building of internal health and as this internal health builds the external walls are stronger um, you're taking action in a new way the six of wands is a beautiful energy it's another passion energy it's an energy of stepping forward into something that perhaps you haven't done before. You could be putting on a new uniform. You could be getting a new job. You could be taking on a new project. Um, you could be moving forward in a relationship in a way that you haven't done before, but you're deciding at this point in time, you are going to step forward. You are going to come out into the community a different way. There's something different about you with the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands is stepping forward in a new way. That is the truest and the deepest sense of the Six of Wands. And you're doing it with passion. You're doing it because there's something that pulls you, that pushes you from within. There's really not any other option here when you're in the Six of Wands. It's something that you're called to do, that you feel very passionate to do, and you're stepping forward in a new way. Not only that, but people are seeing you do this. People are seeing you doing this. They have respect for you. They're inspired by you. There could be some kind of award here or some kind of major victory here that you are stepping into in the future. So you know that you're on a track um, that's going to bring you to a new successful point. Um, but there is some sort of risk here. The Six of Wands is stepping forward through new doorways, stepping through the fear. So there is always a little bit of risk with the Six of Wands, but that passion within you that pulls you forward really, um, it, it is not hindered by the fear. It is able to step through the fear because of the passion. And passion, um, true passion, fiery passion, always moves through fear. That is, for me, when I'm in this energy, fiery passion always can move through the fear. And, and I think that's quite beautiful because what we have here is a situation where um, you are coming out of a period of time of a real, with the devil in reverse and the moon card in reverse here. I didn't tell you the cards that were here. Let me do that really quick. We have the nine of, across the top row, we have the nine of wands. See, look, I'm procrastinating on the devil energy. Can, do you see that? See how easily we can deflect. See how easily we can avoid doing things. Um, I don't even want to go in this energy. It's devil in reverse, the moon in reverse, and the nine of swords. Okay, I'll get there. I'll go into it because it's important to go into it. Um, but did you see how easily I distracted myself? And I think that we can do that as aquas. We have very strong minds and we can use our minds in all different ways. I have Aquarius sun and Aquarius Venus. So I can do this quite easily and I can move my mind around. I can move my thoughts around and we can quite easily avoid things if, if we don't want to go, you know, so anyway, so nine of wands, six of wands, moon in reverse, devil in reverse. The bottom row is the empress with the seven of cups and the Knight of Wands, all these, all these cards are in the upright with the Nine of Swords in the upright. <clears throat> now I want to talk about the Seven of Cups. <laughs> I'm really avoiding this. Okay, I'm laughing at myself. 
<laughs> okay, Aquarius, it's not a laughing matter. I mean, that's as as I feel I'm going into this moon in reverse and the devil in reverse. It's not a laughing matter. Um, I think that some details have come forward to you. Some new understanding has come forward to you. Whatever this is with the devil in reverse and the moon in reverse, it's something that hit you. It's something that hit you hard. Um, it could be some very dense energy. It could be addiction. It could be lying and cheating. Um, it could be toxic energy. It could be energy that we um, hold within us that results from being oppressed or being controlled, um, being living in fear, living in fear of, fa of failure, living in fear of, of money, whatever it is, there is something here that was a quite heavy energy. And I feel like you got caught up in that or that became a part of your experience. Um, you're moving through that with the Knight of Wands. And I love that energy. The Knight of Wands energy is a Sagittarius energy. Um, I understand the Knight of Wands energy because I have Sagittarius rising um, in my uh, in my in my chart. And um, I think the Knight of Wands gets a bad rap. Personally, I do, because um, the Knight of Wands energy can come in and can really push you through situations. It's a beautiful energy. Yes, when it comes to love and, we, and when it comes to offers of love that come in so quickly and so passionately, so exuberantly, um, we have all learned with that kind of love energy that those situations might be short-term situations. When something happens quickly, um, sometimes it will leave quickly. And that is an element of the Sagittarius energy. But there is so much more to the Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands energy is an energy that can push us through through the fire. Um, it's an energy that they just gave me a picture right now, and, and I am looking at this double energy with the fire. Um, but but the, it's it's like what firemen use as they suit up. They suit up, they put their clothing on that protects them from the flames, and they use this Knight of Wands energy to rush into the home and to save people. That is a Knight of Wands energy. It's powerful. It's passionate. It can overcome obstacles that no other Knight can overcome. It is a powerful energy, and each and every one of us has the Knight of Wands energy within us. Um, it is passionate. It's powerful. It can move quickly into situations. It can move you through the fire. It can move you through the fog. It can help you attain goals that you may never have thought you can do. It's a powerful energy. And I love that you're in this energy. It will carry you through. You're able to express yourself. You're able to be strong. You're able to have this extra flair of courage. And it moves you through. Yes, are you worried about this situation? Absolutely, you're worried. Um, you are moving forward, fueled again by this clarity. And I feel like the Nine of Swords clarity here is a clarity that you have on the situation and you know that you have to take action at this point. You know that you have to take action to bring equality in for you. There's something here that was holding you back or that was dragging you down or that was diminishing you, whether you were doing this to yourself or other people were doing this to you or whether it was just an energy, an environment that you were in that, you were in that was very unhealthy for you. I see you pushing through this. Now, again... There is some sort of clarity here that has brought the truth to you and has um, forced you in a way to really see things in clear detail. And it's this clear detail um, that's helping you understand and helping you move through and turn the situation over, turn it over, turn it on its seat, um, turn it, turn it um, to to work in your favor. Um, I'm just seeing a picture in my mind of a leaf turning over. That is a slang that we have um, in English, and I don't know if it's around the world, but turn over a new leaf would be to totally change the situation, flip it, change it, um, alter it in a way that uh, that it becomes um, we uh, it becomes powerless. It becomes um, it has no more control over you. So it's pushing through this, and you're fueled here by this clarity that you found. Um, I do want to. I feel like there's more energy to come out that I haven't quite gotten here. So let me, I'm going to pull energy of the, of this three connections here, the devil in reverse, the knight of wands and the knight of swords. There's like a little hole right here. There's a center of energy that's bursting and pulsing right here. And I'm going to go into that energy and see what I can pull out here. I'm using a different deck. I'm using the tarot of the 78 doors to do this. Ooh, that's a, Pulling on my lower chakras. King of Wands coming out. That's that Knight of Wands energy. Two of Cups. There's some kind of partnership here. Lover's energy. King of Wands. 
I just have to be able to go into this energy. So you might not be able to see this. This lover's energy, two of, two of cups energy with the king of wands. So I'm going to keep going. I'm going to pull another card here. This is like a mini reading inside a reading. Here's the queen of wands. So now we have, um, again, signs of partners here. Four of wands. There's some kind of shelter or foundation that this is involving. Ten of cups in the lateral has come out. So, okay. So there's some sort of a situation here that you are working to reinvent or to um, renew. The king of wands comes in as a, as, can often come in as a rescuer, as a rescuer. So we have the king of wands here, um, energy, the energy within you that is an energy of passion, an energy of influence, an energy of creation. The king of wands is a creator. He's a rescuer. He comes into a situation and he builds on it. He fixes it. He creates it. He changes it. He takes it and he winds it up and he spits it out and it's different. It's like almost a magic skill that the King of Wands has. Now he doesn't always have this energy. This is, comes to him in bursts of energy. It's a very creative type of energy and it uses a lot of power, a lot of passion. So we do have a King of Wands energy here. I think this is you. It could be, there could be an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius here that you are connected with as your partner. That could absolutely be. But for many of you, um, this is the energy that you're taking on as you move forward in the in the Knight of Wands energy to move into this toxic situation here that you are working to resolve or to renew or to reinvent. It has something to do with the foundation. Either it has something to do with within your home, within the shelter of your home, within the shelter of your relationships, within your some kind of commitment you have with some other person. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it does need to have some sort of a bracket around it. It needs to have some sort of a basket of protection around it. So it could be something that you're working on within a family, within a workplace, within a community, but it does have to have a, some kind of bracket, some kind of sheltering energy around it that you um, stand within, that you work within, that you love within, that you live within, um, that creates this four of wands, this foundation. Now, as we can see here, I see very clearly this nine of swords and this woman um, just moving forward saying, I have got to change this. I have to change this. This is about my happiness here. This is about my bliss. This is about um, how I would like to live in the future, how I would like to live in enjoyment and in love and in happiness. And I do want to enjoy um, the beauty of life. I want to enjoy the beauty of life and I must make changes right now so that I can um, begin to pull in this Ten of Cups energy again. Uh, we do have a Two of Cups here, so there's definitely a partnership here. And we realize partnerships can be all different ways. I talk about this every time the Two of Cups comes up. Um, sometimes we can get very tunnel visioned when we see these cards. Um, these cards represent energies that can be widespread energies. This is an energy of a partnership. Um, now this partnership can be a work partnership. This can be a love partnership. It can be a family partnership or a partnership between companies, partnership between countries, partnership between cities. It can be any kind of a partnership energy, but it's taking two or three or how many different individuals and they are all working together or they work, did at one time work together to bring some kind of result, to bring some kind of product or bring some kind of relationship forward in a healthy way. Now, this is connected with the lovers. So for many of you, this could be a love partner. Um, this could be someone that's very connected deeply within us That is that has been a part of some kind of yin and yang dynamic. All right, so if you have um, a partner at work that you've been working with, um, you both have different personalities and different talents. And when you put those together, there's some kind of explosive, beautiful energy that comes out of that. So this could be in a work partner. This could be in businesses that work together that create amazing products and, and wonderful services. This could be in love partnership where you have um, a husband or a wife or an intimate partner that is a complementary energy to you. Whatever this is, there is some sort of decision um, being made here and, and some kind of movement forward being made with someone who has a very close attachment to you that helps to balance your energy 
Um, the lover's energy also talks about the yin and yang energy within ourselves. So yes, in our outer environment, we can have yin and yang energies in our outer environment. But as we know, everything that is within is also in the external. So in within each and every one of us, there is also a yin and yang. There's a masculine and feminine energy between within each and every one of us. And I think um, I'm getting this energy. And yes, it can be about a lover. And yes, it can be about some kind of significant partner to you in some way, even a dear friend. Um, but this has um, damaged the internal balance that you have had. And you have perhaps had to take action in a way that you're uncomfortable with, or you have had to stay silent in a way that you're uncomfortable with internally. And you're working now to bring a more balanced internal um, heart center to yourself. Again, you are moving through this. And I think um, as you move forward, you know, my team does not give the answer book. You know, that, that there is life lessons to be learned in every experience that we have. And I think there's something here to be learned. And when you move through this, there will be a true victory for you. There will be a true accomplishment for you. And it will come with some kind of new wisdom, new enlightenment for your soul to progress in its own journey. Um, but I, I still, that I say that, I just, I feel like I want to see what I can ask here um, tell us what we can expect. Tell us what we can expect as this is moved through. Please tell us what we can expect, please, as this is moved through. Please tell us what we can expect. Six of Wands. There's a Six of Wands again coming out in a new way, taking this on in a different way, being seen in a different way, coming forward in a different way, taking some risk here. Um, you're gaining a lot of respect. So we've already had the Six of Wands. Five of Swords. So you're going through some kind of a little bit of a battle here, um, but it's bringing you new equality with the Six of Pentacles. Now, this card didn't ultimately come out, but it certainly um, flipped over and it came out in a way that I couldn't avoid talking about this. So there's some kind of new equality, could be equality with money, could be equality with um, some kind of return. If you're giving out a lot of love and you're being generous, you are demanding and you are re beginning to receive something back that is fair to you. Um, something back that seems like a fair exchange for you where you're satisfied. You, you are getting something back. We cannot continue to give forward and to love and to give of ourselves and not receive equal return. That is called codependency. That is called um, unhealthiness. That's called depletion. That's called passive, um, a passive aggression, right? This kind of energy is, is not helpful and it's not healthy for us. Nine of, nine of wands in the reverse. So you're really working here to create new boundaries around yourself. Um, and this is starting to come in for you. So you're going to be able to see yourself and, and we have the nine of wands here. So, so this conflict could really, um, it could be a challenge for you. It could be a challenge for you as you're learning how to build boundaries and stand very strongly in front of your belief system or what you're doing in your life. So there could be some kind of a little bit of a conflict. Now, it's only the five of swords. It's only a five energy, right? You know the numbers go to 10. So it's only a five energy. It's a conflict that you can deal with. Um, it's something that could have some results for you that might not be um, heavenly. They might not be... Um, beautiful results, but there's something here that you're working to attain, which is this 10 of cups. That's much bigger. That's much more important than this five of swords. So I think you're going to step into this situation knowing that there have to be changes and there could be some sort of rough, rough skirmish or, or something here that you're having to deal with as you build these boundaries for yourself. It's not always easy. It's not always pleasant. Um, to come out and to make changes, especially when you have the devil energy and the moon energy in, rever in reverse. I prefer it's in reverse. So these are two energies that I'm happy to see in the reverse. Um, so I think you're in a good place. You have accomplished something um, really important for yourself. And yes, you could have conflict here, but I think that you know that it's important now to move forward in this healthiness. Even if it feels selfish to you, even if people are saying, why are you being so selfish? Why are you taking this away from me? Why are you changing this? And you have to say, because I am not feeling I am not feeling like it's fair. You might have to even put it in numbers. If this is about work, you might have to put it down in numbers and come forward with some evidence of this, right? So this is saying, 
Um, this is some kind of a conflict where you are um, bringing in some healthy selfishness. And when we create boundaries, this is part of it. We, we can sometimes feel awkward. We can feel uneasy. We can feel guilty. That is the part of the energy change. There's something here that you have to protect yourself. And whenever we take something away from people, even animals, if, if people are used to, if animals are used to receiving a certain, um, whatever it is, if they're, if, if you're giving something of yourself, whoever you're giving it to is used to receiving it. They are probably taking it for granted. They're probably just saying, okay, this is what I'm receiving from this person. I'm enjoying it. Um, and there's not a second thought. As soon as that's removed, as soon as you change that, um, there is a huge, um, usually there is some sort of a, um, a, an action that springs forward from that. That's a cry. It's a cry. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you taking this away from me? Why are you coming forward? Why are you demanding more? It, there, there is some sort of healthy selfishness that must be done here as you move to bring the nine of wands in the upright here. And as you work, take, take steps in your life to, to bring this 10 of cups, this happiness back into your, back into your existence, because you as a human being deserve to have the chance and to work towards living in happiness. There is no, it's not fair for another person or for a group of people or for a community to take away from you so much that it's, that it's not allowing you to reach this 10 of cups. Each and every soul that is on the planet of this earth um, demands the right, deserves a right to work towards the 10 of cups. That is part of the human experience. So um, I know I got a bit on a soapbox there, but with this five of swords next to the nine of wands in reverse, I feel like it's necessary to talk about that. All right, so let's go ahead now, and I want to pull one more energy. I feel like there's some sort of, oh, there goes the card on the floor. Sorry about my tripod. Six of cups in the upright. So now we have two sixes. So you're bringing in more harmony here. Um, you're, you're going through some kind of a healing um, and you're getting back this soul energy, this warm, fuzzy energy, um, this warm, fuzzy energy that's so beautiful in our lives. So I, I, I think that you're moving into a more balanced, more harmonious position, a more a position of more equality, um, because we have we have six, six, six. So we have three sixes here. So look up what that is. I think that's talking about harmony, balance, equality, um, healing. Um, it is an energy that is a positive, um, stable energy. And I like that better. So in order to get to the six of cups, um, there is some sort of a little bit of a journey to go on here with the five of swords, but you're fully able to do it. And um, remember you have the six of swords that's pushing you forward with this new clarity and the new, the new way of peaceful living here that is helping you to move through the five of swords. All right, let's look to see what the guidance is for Aquarius. Seven of Cups, I never did talk about it. Um, the Seven of Cups energy is, is the energy of, let me get into this energy. This is pulling me, sorry. Well, this situation is, is really, um, it's kept you in a position of, of not moving. You, you probably have, haven't known what to do, but you have this new clarity now. So, um, you're, you're being coming more empowered with your options and starting to understand your own personal empowerment here. And, and really all of the options that you really do have in your life to make changes. And tell me more about the seven of cups. It's a, this energy in the seven of cups is a good seven of cups energy, six of cups. Now, seven of swords. See, you're making changes here. You're revive. You're, you're seeing the way to revise. You're seeing the way forward. Uh, I think there's more than one way. Ten of Wands. You're 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 ending. You're putting down. You're ending some kind of cycle here. You're seeing the best way to do it. You're finding clarity on the best way to do it. Two sevens. So now you're moving from sixes, and here's another six. So now we've seen four sixes, and now we have two sevens. So this is about three sevens. This is about ex, ex, acceleration. It's about ascension. It's about moving up, moving forward, 
um, in, in this situation. Divine timing here, revision, um, protection, tower, tower in reverso. So really working through some kind of a situation here and allowing the changes to come in. Allowing the changes to come in. I like that the tower is in reverse. Turning this on its side, turning over a new leaf, changing this completely. Five of Pentacles again. So you're moving from some kind of situation that was a surprise. It was chaos. It hurt you. It went deep. It cut you deep. Um, it's something that left you out in the cold or made you worry or something that left you without, left you without money, left you without people, left you without a family. Something here left you without, and it was quite significant for you. Um, it could be a short term event. It could be a smaller event. It doesn't have to be an epic life event. Um, but it's something here that really, um, brought in some surprise and shock to you and left you in a feeling of, of not having what you need to move forward. So it looks like you are changing that. You're revising things. You're protecting yourself. You are coming out of a position of being controlled, being someone else's puppet, um, being controlled by someone else, not feeling self-empowerment, not feeling that you have the strength to continue on. So you're dropping some of these tasks, you're dropping some of these duties, and you're moving forward in a more free way, and you're allowing it to come to pass. You're almost, in a way, you're surrendering it, and you're allowing it to come to pass. Whatever you have learned and whatever you decided, you're no longer hanging on to something um, that is hurting you or is devaluing you. Okay. Let's move into the guidance now. What time is it? 41. How do I do that? I just lose track of time. I get too caught up in the readings. But most of you don't care. Sometimes um, there's one or two of you that, that make a comment on it. But we've just got to let the, the messages come forward as they do. And I can't have myself any other way. I've tried to do it differently. And as I get caught up in these energies, I just lose track of time. And that's just the way it is. Here you are, Queen of Swords. Can't be said any more clearly. You're protecting something. You're in your true energy. You have clarity. You know what you're, where you're going. You're ready to speak up. You're making changes. That sword is up. That sword is next to her heart. There's something here that has hurt her. And there's something here that she is moving forward on. Yes, she can look grim. She can look very severe. But um, there is something here that you are now uncaring. You are uncaring about how you look. Who is judging you? You have been hurt, and there is some equality to be gained here. You're you're moving into some kind of a new phase here with the world. There has been some kind of an ending and a new beginning. Um, the hierophant is a is an energy of contract of agreement. Um, did we have the hierophant earlier? I can't remember. Um, it's the energy of contract, agreement, society, formality. Um, it's a, it's an energy of religion and trust and and faith. Um, but I feel here. There is some sort of ending or some sort of new beginning, some sort of revision to whatever this structure was that you are, have been within. It, with, if it's been within a marriage or if it's been within a partnership of some kind, if it's been between coworkers or business owners, um, there has been some kind of a contract or some kind of a formality that helps to guide society, helps to guide people. So again, could be a marriage, could be a business contract, could be an employee. Um, looks, I, did you hear that noise? Um, I have, I have um, two cats and they're, whenever I do readings, they're shut out of my bedroom because they would be here at this table. But it's the morning and it's 10, 10 here and they're ready to go out. I live in the country. So of course they go outside. There would be, that would be cruel for me to leave them inside and they're ready to go outside, but I'm in here doing this reading and they're getting into lots of trouble out there. They just knocked over something in the kitchen. So um, I'll just have to see what that is when I go out. But, but the higher font energy is a energy of some sort of agreement or some sort of formal um, basket or, or some sort of formal um, decree that is around and, and about this, whatever is ending or beginning. 
Um, we do have a walking away energy. So the guidance here is to protect what you know is to tr is true, to protect yourself. Um, this is not the time um, for um, giving to people. This is not the time of um, overextending yourself and offering of yourself. This is a time of self-protection. This is a time for you to express yourself, for you to make clear what your desires are and what your, what your demands are. This is a time for you to be strong, Aquarius. There is something that here that's coming to an end. And when we have something coming to an end, there's always a beginning. So I, I feel this is a more of a positive energy. I feel like you know that on the other side of these actions, on the other side of these decisions, on the other side of this very, um, this expression that's built upon evidence and it's built upon the truth. I can even see numbers here. I even see lists here of, 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 um, this is an Aquarius. So, so this is very, the, I see the, the King of Swords here too. So, um, there, there are lists here. There's evidence here. There's clear detail. This, this queen of swords is coming forward in a way that it cannot be argued with. And nobody can do this better than Aquarius. Maybe Libra. <laughs> okay. Maybe Libra, but there is a clear argument here. There's rationality. There's logic, right? It's so interesting that the world energy is next to the queen of swords because I feel like there's not really a whole lot of argument here. When you come forward in such a clear way, using logic and rationality, um, I don't see a whole lot of emotions here. I see the facts. I see the evidence, right? I don't see a lot of emotion. And so when we come forward in such a clear, crystal clear way, there is, on, there is only the capacity to move forward onto something. There's no more, well, let's talk about this and let's talk about the other night and let's talk about whatever. It's, it's, it's crystal clear that there is going to be some kind of a major revision here in whatever the structure is. There's a new beginning here in whatever the structure is. And in some way or another, there is a departure of some kind of existing relationship, some kind of existing agreement. There is some kind of departure here. So whether someone is walking away, that could be. Whether it's something that's being changed in a major way and it's hurting the other person, that could be too. Remember, we have had the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So um, there is going to be someone here who either regrets or there's going to be someone here who feels the pain of it, who feels the loss of it. Um, but there is some kind of equality here that needs to come in for you, some kind of justice that needs to come in for you. And I see that happening here. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever said this before, Aquarius, but this Eight of Cups for you, it feels like some kind of justice energy. And I don't mean that in a revengeful way. I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean that in a way that there is some kind of result. There is some kind of a consequence of your action that you take here as the Queen of Swords. I want to know more about this Queen of Swords. Seven of Swords. Okay, I'm on it. I've got it. So there's some sort of revision here. Seven of Swords is not an easy energy. It's an energy of betrayal. It's an energy of theft. It's an energy of, of thievery. It's an energy of someone taking something from you um, that wasn't fair for you. Some kind of promise, but then something was altered. Something more is, is keeps being wanted. Or someone, I mean, just look at this. It doesn't have to be a love affair here. But just look at this energy. Look how happy the lady in purple is. She's not realizing that there's something else going on. There's some, there was something going on in this situation that wasn't fair for you. It wasn't part of the plan. It wasn't part of the agreement. All right. So there, there is something being done. There's some kind of revision here that's being done. And yes, it hurts someone. That's part of this. That's why there is, um, this five energy here. It's awkward. It's uneasy. It, it could have, ha you could have feelings of guilt, feelings of regret, but there, but let me remind you that there is justice here. There is equity here that needs to come in. And whenever we create equity for ourselves, whenever we step forward in a new way and create boundaries, there's somebody that's going to have, that's going to create an effect on someone. We can't not make changes in our lives without moving the grid lines and having those grid lines affect the other person or the community or the workplace in, in a different way. And whenever the grid lines change, whenever the, the environment changes, there are cause and effect 
all those kinds of dynamics go on. So somebody here is going to have some sort of consequence here, and that is just part of this process. Look, I'm in the Queen of Swords energy. Isn't she? Eight of Wands, communication, movement forward here. Two eights now. This is endurance and power. In the extended, I'll dig deeper into this. Ace of Cups, new love, new inspiration. Well, that's a surprise. Well, I'm definitely going to dig into the Ace of Cups. Self-love. Ace of Cups can often be self-love. Even if you look up the meaning of the Ace of Cups, you will see that often it is talking about self-love. So often we say, oh, new love, new partner coming in. Sometimes it is the most necessary energy of self-love. We must love the self in order to receive a healthy love from the exterior world. And if we don't have self-love, if we do not take actions for our own betterment, we cannot expect that in the exterior world. We cannot expect people to extend new and inspired love to us when we do not have that within ourselves. What is within is also mirrored in the external. It is a fact. I mean, from my perspective, I guess you can't say it's a fact per se. Okay, because I guess I'm in the Queen of Swords energy. But for me, this is something that I have seen over and over and over again in my life. And you can see it throughout. And you can also hear it from other um, teachers and from even um, the, the gurus and the masters that are out there that have built themselves up quite a, a set of teachings. Strength, moving through, having having the endurance to create um, a situation for you that is healthy, that is loving, that is going to bring you into a, to into the path where you can attain the Ten of Cups, where you can attain bliss and happiness and joy within your life. And this is having the strength, the courage, the ability to um, manage, manage your weaknesses, um, really kind of learn how to express yourself. See the strength energies over the top of the Queen of Swords. So there is a need here for the Queen of Swords to be be careful as she moves forward that she doesn't create more co more conflict than is necessary. Because remember the energy that I was in when I was talking about the Eight of Cups? I'm in the Queen of Swords energy. That's how come I'm in this energy. And it's something I can do really well because I'm Aquarius. But there is a need now for this group of Aquarius is to moderate that tone to moderate the tone, uh, to understand that there's going to be consequences here, Aquarius, and to know that and to, in a way, moderate the tone so that you don't become overly aggressive, that you don't create too much crisis or too much um, um, chaos here, that you moderate the tone um, here just a bit. But there are changes that, that need to be made and there's new equality that's coming in for you, I see, Aquarius. All right. Um, how did I get to 52? Okay, Aquarius, I am going to move to the extended now, and, and we are going to look at deeper into some of these energies. Um, let me start here with the Nine of Cups. So I want to dig into the Nine of Cups a little bit more. I don't think I want to dig too much into the current energy because you guys all realize the current energy, and you are receiving clarity here. So I don't really want to spend time doing that, um, but I think what I will do is dig into the Nine of Cups, I'm going to dig into, hmm, I'm going to dig into this devil energy in reverse to see if there's anything here, anything more we can find out about the devil in reverse. Maybe dig into the moon in reverse. I can't believe I'm doing that, but something tells me to do that. Six of wands, I'm going to dig into. How, how are you coming out differently? What's happening here? And um, I want to dig in, man, why am I digging into so much? It's going to take forever. Well, I'm going to dig into the Ace of Cups and the World Energy as well. So I'm going to dig into these two energies here. Um, and we'll see how far, how long it goes for me to dig deeper into these. And I'll probably look at a person or two around you to look at what their intentions are too. Um, all right, my friends, it has been a pleasure. I, I hope you move forward in this. I wish you the best as you move forward in this into fulfillment of your dreams, fulfillment of your goals, and the attainment of some kind of equality here in your experience. So I wish you the best, my friends. Thank you all very much.